Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. And today, I'm going to talk about a couple widgets. And those widgets are Circle Launcher and Minimalistic Text widgets. So, as you can see, my home screen has changed what I think for the better. Very, very cool stuff. So I got my date, my time, um, the actual day, the temperature of what is out, outside based on my location. Got my nice little Sleepless Ninja um, logo right there. And then this, for anyone's wondering, is actually how much battery I have left. So it, it matches with down there. So it's a nice way of bringing some of things that you might want to know immediately highlighted in the big onto your screen. But so let's, let's, uh, and then of course, Circle Launcher is a very nice way of kind of hiding your applications and then bringing them out in a cool way to select when you want to see them. So I almost don't even uh, use any other uh, home screen, although I'm working on customizing each, each home screen um, to cater to, to different types of things that I want. But um, I'm not there yet, and uh, so we'll just focus on what I have now. So to kind of break up the different applications, um, let's let's go to the marketplace, and I'll show you what what I've got gotten. So first up, Circle Launcher. So there's a light version and a paid version. Um, I'm using the light version, um, but definitely check out the paid version you have a little bit more customization as to um, what everything looks like and um, loads out to so if you're really going to looking to go for the extra mile it's a it's a beautiful beautiful and elegant way to present your information and this works both on the zoom and on your android smartphone so definitely um, grab it and then you can use it a two for one so very very cool and it's just a way of encapsulating everything in a single button and you click it and then you can uh, see all the applications that you chose under it and so I'll go in depth on that and then the other thing minimalistic text another one that is light and paid I am using the light version and you can see it gets a lot of uh, very cool um, features just out of the light itself And the uh, the paid version actually is is a donation, and uh, which of course this is amazing. So please please donate. I I will be. And um, the uh, developer offers as if you donate, as he makes updates, the donators um, get the update first, and will trickle out to the people who didn't donate later in time, which is, which is a really nice gesture. So, um, again, I'd like to say the fact that these are widgets. This is not like Launcher Pro or AWD. Um, these are actual widgets. So if you were to have Launcher Pro, you could use Launcher Pro and then use these widgets as well. So it's a way to transform your, um, your uh, screen without over, you know, creating a whole new user interface. But really change the, the, your, your own experience. So... Let's let's take a look on uh, go to a blank slate and see how these work. So first, we'll take a look at Circle Launcher. So let's go add a widget. We'll go to widgets, and um, oh, I forgot I forgot one more thing. Circle battery widget. So that that battery circle um, is actually a a separate widget altogether, but it's very very simple. You can choose from a various sizes. Throw it on, and it it works just like it sees. Now the 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 Circle Launcher requires some customization so when you drop it to the screen up comes um, a uh, preference so you can choose uh, what type of launcher you want do you want it to be bookmarks contacts or apps so this would be really you know cool for any of them so we'll choose apps and let's uh, select the kind of app so let's say you want something that um, focuses strictly on gaming then you can select 
or um, or multimedia. Let's do multimedia. So Amazon. You can put your books. You can put you know your cameras and media tool, your comics, and uh, gallery. Last FM, music. So we, we selected a bunch, so first you select. Then you can choose the style. Um, since this is the unpaid version, we can only do circle. Quite all right. Um, we can then choose the, the icon. So they have a nice little, you know, choices. I choose um, this just because it kind of goes with my theme. Um, you can do the label, so you can actually give it a name and it shows up on top of the uh, launcher, um, the circle launcher icon. And so we can do multi-media. Save that. And then we can back up this, save it with a particular name or if we just launch or, or say later we created a, a widget and we wanted to have the similar feel as that one um, we can just restore and we can actually restore to a prior one so cool and then there's extra configuration on um, and this this is where some cool things come in you can actually change how wide you want the launcher, how it dims out the screen when the launcher launches. You can make the circle launcher actually launch um, anywhere you want. Um, so even if you click on the button, you could have it load in the center of the screen. And um, also you can actually create your own personal icons too. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people that kind of have this list and I'll show a picture um, of this too where this person, he made it kind of very beautiful app where he had his multimedia and utilities and everything and you click on it and then in the middle where he has this cool picture um, the, the circle launcher launches around that very cool stuff and this is actually what started my journey on customizing my uh, my own um, user interface so after you've done that you see here's my multimedia I click on that and then it, and then it launches right around it cool and Again, it works, so if we were to go to music, you know, there it goes, and it launches very smooth and cool. And then, you know, the cool thing about this is it's widget-based, which means you do not have to change your user interface, and the smooth honeycomb is still there. And if you really like your Launcher Pro, you can add to your Launcher Pro. So that was circle launcher and it's a lot more simpler than the next one that I'm going to show you which is the minimalistic so minimalistic gives you a handful of different types of widgets you have ones going vertical and you have ones going horizontal with different widths um, so it, so it takes a while to get used used to this actually so we'll we'll throw one down and we'll put one here and a, like circle launcher it brings up a menu so let me pan out because the menu only works this way, which is slightly annoying, but you know what? It's well worth the results. So one thing to know here is there's a lot of customization. And because of the fact that this is really customizable, it can be almost overbearing to work with this, uh, with it at first and understand what's going on. So just take your time and be patient. It's not that the application sucks. It's just when you, or the widget sucks, it's just things like this take time. When you really want to get down to the nitty gritty and the fine details, things like this take time. So I'm going to go over a brief overview of how to do one and then hopefully you, you, you can learn from that. So the first thing you want to do is create a name. Now all your widgets have a unique name. So something like this, um, you're making this one widget and you can make you know an infinite amount of these minimalistic text widgets. You have to bear in mind that you want to call them all different names. So for this one, let's call this um, date test okay and so we have a bunch of uh, options show background um, which basically um, if if I pan out right now I'll just click back 
and we'll go to the home screen. Show background. Let me pan this up. Basically gives this background on, on behind your your widget. I don't use it on mine because I don't want I, I don't want it to seem like it has one. So if you uncheck that off, you can see as I go back. There's no background behind it now. It's also movable. So if you ever wanted to change anything, all you have to do is click on it and you can change. So let's not show the background. You can put shadows, but one of the, some of the uh, important things to really um, style is this. Predefined settings. You can do time, date, battery, weather, and and then custom, which is what we're going to go into. So we set it to custom, and then we go to custom layout. And so here's when things get interesting. So you can see we have, right now we have the hour in text, the minute in digits, and then the second minute in uh, digits. So let's make something to our own liking. So we go to clock, and we can do... Let's throw these out. By clicking on them, you can throw out. It's basically like a queue of things, how you want to see it in order. And so now we're going to go and add. So you can add here. You can also add rows. So if you want a, a, a widget that has multiple rows of information, you can add a row there. And then with the red minus, you, you, you subtract the row. So we want, how about we do the hour in text? Okay, and then it kind of shows you what you did down here. Um, so 8, because it's 810 right now, so it shows 8. And we can be really, really fancy and customize this any way we want. So let's do minutes now. And we'll do the minutes in uh, digits. And then let's do the AM and the PM in the text. So you can see there's a lot of customization here. And so you can see, and it gives you a basic idea of what it looks like. So now we'll back out of that. And so the really cool thing is now you can change this text to really like pump up and make it look different. So Let's go to accented, and I, I like always making like the accent of the different colors. So we'll go and we'll make it this this blue, and let's make it slightly bigger than what it is. Thirty one, okay. But you can see there's a a really wider range of changing the font and really customize to the, saying the color, italics, bold, size, and case of everything. And so, and we'll also go down to the non-accented. And then we'll, we'll make that slightly smaller, and I'll just fill it in 27, okay? We'll go back, and so these are kind of the two that I use the most, the accented and the non. And um, if you press back, you can see, there we go, everything shows up. 8, 12, post, meridium. And you can um, customize the size and how you want it to look from that. So you can see this takes a lot of time. But the results you get is a really, really honed in and custom feeling. And of course, if you saved a setting and you like, like your font and your style, you just go save and you can call it either whatever you named a widget or whatever you want and then when you create another widget you can load from the restore select what you liked and then you're golden and so it saves you more time once you save the, your preferences now also I want to show you this home screen is also very beautiful well I hope you like this whether and um, definitely uh, try it out. If you like this, please uh, hit like and uh, please subscribe to my channel for daily updates. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.